we have win with us as you can see uh, she's from vietnam and she scored uh, a 665 which is an equivalent of 720 on the current edition or the classic edition so yeah. welcome first of all to this uh, session and uh, really a good performance overall just tell us what was your preparation experience and what was your exam experience gradually in chronological order yes so Maybe I also talk a little bit about, you know, how I come to GMAT and, and everything. So I think I found your program just by search on Google. And actually at that time, I really, you know, I like the um, the theme. I think I arrived the bat and after that I enrolled the the course in uh, in June, I think. But um, yeah. I couldn't find the time to to start learning. And I only start from August after I, you know, arrange the my my job and find a good time for me to to start uh, working on GMAT. And I think I spent like more than two months to complete my self pay cost and around more than one month to practice for the exam. So I write the exam on the yeah, November on uh, 20, uh, 24, I think. On November, okay. so right. yes. And, uh, and uh, what was your... yeah, yeah. Please tell me. Yes, continue. Please. And the whole yeah, I mean the the whole experience uh, preparing the exam with the uh, top one percent is I I feel you know uh it's great. I mean uh, whenever I have a question and I send it to the uh to you know, and I ask for support from from you and I get the response like in like eight hours, so it's quickly respond from you and you know uh even I I enroll the self pay cost. Uh, I still receive the you know the support the same like the like cost I think and uh, it really supported and um yeah and I think that about the the material to prepare for the the exam uh top provide me you know all the material I need even the long content I think even if I can uh even I can you know, spend more time with the practicing with the long content from LSAT content I can even get a higher score in verbal but I I did I. It really hard, cannot delay my, my exam longer. So I have to take the exam like two weeks ago. But um, I would say, you know, there's still some material that I haven't got the chance to to practice on. Um, some in uh, quant, I think, and, and some in uh, reading comprehension for uh, the long content for LSAT. Right. So you're saying that you could not finish all the material in particularly reading comprehension and quant. And despite that, yes. you were able to get the score. So if you had done a little more practice, probably it would have been easier to get a higher score for it. I think so. So uh, I want to share about the, you know, the first time I saw an RC passes, I think it's uh, an easy passes in the official guide. And uh, it took me like 30 minutes to 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 sign an RC passes at easy level. And it's quite a short passes. And I think, you know, I was a little bit I was a little bit panicked with the long passes in the first place. But after, you know, uh, practicing our start content, uh, I'm get I think I get used to it and you know comfortable with the with the exam. And I must say the exam um, is you know it require a lot of kind of reading and absorbing the information. So get used to the long content is really helpful. Right. And what were your study pattern like? How many hours did you study every day? You studied for two months basically. You're saying. Ah uh, yes, in the I think in the first week or so, as well like three hour per day. But after that, I I think I need to spend more time on on, uh, on it. And uh, I think it's well about five to six hour per day to complete the course. And for the last month, when I need to practice for the exam, it even more than that. I think it will like seven to eight hour per day just uh to to practice in right. the last so, month before the exam. You... You joined in June, but you did not start immediately, right? That is what you're saying. That you yeah, I, I joined in June. November yes. to <laughs> June to November is five months almost. So, but you took uh, only two months of prep time, right? Yes, I start. Uh, I start uh, learning the the self pay course on August, I think. After quite, uh, you know, after I arrange the the work because before that I have a very busy schedule because uh, it's like I I ha I have meeting like all the all the day. Uh, because I'm working for an U.S. company, so we have like meeting at night time, at, you know, uh, early time in the morning. So it's it's not easy for me to find a time to 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 start learning. So I only right. start learning from August. Okay, can you take me section by section? How did you prepare for quant? How did you prepare for RC? How did you prepare for CR? How did you prepare for data insights? And uh, how much practice did you uh, do for mock? For mock. So let's start with quant first of all. How did you prepare for quant? Like what did you do? Uh, Actually, I'm. I think I'm kind of comfortable with Quran because uh, I think for Vietnamese uh, student, Quran is the, the the easiest part in GMAT. Um, okay. 
So uh, I just did everything you asked me to do. I mean, I I start the, I do all the pre work and then the uh, the main class and then the post work. So I just do everything you asked me to do in terms okay. of quant. No more. I, I even cannot finish. You know the the doc uh, the uh, 70, 80 question. I I Seven, didn't have time to finish to that. Questions you had. Yeah. yeah, sorry, seven hundred to to eight hundred. I didn't have time to finish the that uh, uh, that document, but. Uh, Okay, how was data sufficiency yeah. for you? Did you find it tricky or was it pretty doable? Data sufficiency. Uh, data sufficiency. I data sufficiency. I think is uh, it also require the um the reading because uh, for me most of the DS question are the real context question. So it's uh, it's more to deal with the word problem and the reading, and it's not very difficult. But uh, you know, again, it's more reading and. Mm -hmm. And so you're take saying care in your exam, okay, I, I'll just clarify. So she told me yesterday over chat that in her exam, she found data sufficiency questions to be longer and more reading oriented. And that is what yes. she was referring to. Okay, take me through reading comprehension. How did you prepare for RC? Yeah. Uh, for reading comprehension, first, I uh, RC is the part that I feel, you know, top, uh, the most difficult part in, in GMAT. Uh, mm -hmm. Because like I mentioned, I... I even spend like 30 minutes in the first place to, to solve an easy passage in you know, official guide. Uh, but after, you know, go through the octave theory and, you know, mm. complete every everything that you asked me to complete, uh, like the uh, seven, 700 mm. to 800 uh, passes. Right, and right. then I start working on the LSAT content. And I think the LSAT content helped me a lot to get used to the long content in the exam. Because in the exam, I got the passes at LSAT length, uh, I think all of my passes in, in exam. So were very long. Have a lot. Yes, yes. Without okay. practice with the LSAT content, I think I cannot. Uh, I cannot get that score in the in the exam. But I, right. I didn't. Yeah, I think I, I didn't have enough time to to practice on that. I think I only practice like sixty passes in mm -hmm. LSAT because I only have like more than one. Um, also, I think so. Mm -hmm. How about critical reasoning? How did you prepare for that as well? Let me know. Uh critical reasoning. I. Uh, I think I just did everything in the in the study plan that you you asked me to do. So to mm -hmm. watch the main class uh, from the main course and then the mm -hmm. you know do more uh, do all the uh, RC sorry CR topic wise first mm -hmm. and then uh, seven hundred to eight hundred uh, uh, questions. I right. do all of them. Yes, right. and I think that's all. <laughs> okay, and uh, what did you do for data insights uh, DI section? Did you do everything that we asked you, and did you use the portal also? Let me know. Yes, I am. Um, DI is the topic that I learned just, I think, two weeks before the exam because, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think I take the advice, right? I, I prepare with uh, verbal and quant first, and, and then DI is like two weeks before the exam. I start working on the, uh, I think, the, the document that, uh, that you provide for DI and then mm -hmm. practice with the uh, mock test in the portal. Um, right. Yeah. DI is uh, is not very tough uh, in terms of uh, logic and even quant, but uh, I think the reading is the, the thing that we need to take care of. So because it's very long. So okay, do you need to take care of the reading aspect? You're saying basically, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, so to long. pass analysis is um, really long, and uh, and I think do do not neglect any topic in quant because uh, I think in quant section I get a lot of question on uh, uh arithmetic. Arithmetic, I think, but um, uh, I got P and C question in DI in the two part analysis um questions. So yeah, so P and C probability yeah. is asked a lot in the data insights part in two part analysis. As we also gave you some questions yes. in our material as well. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And um, uh, you believe DI was a very long thing, so you need to practice a lot because otherwise you can fall short on the time aspect, right? You're saying that. Yes, correct. Uh, I think I I take um, uh. For DI, I took your advice before before the exam, right? That uh, we mark we should mark the multi part, mm. multi source reasoning question and mm. review later. And I do exactly what you you are um advised to do. And and then I complete. I think without it, I cannot complete the DI section because it's really long. And mm. even after finish the sec, uh, the DI section, I come back to the the multi source reasoning and I can you know edit one question from incorrect to correct, but. Mm. Uh, but if I do not do that, I think I, I couldn't complete the, the section because it's okay. really long for me. And yeah. How about the mock test portal? How much did it help you? Please tell us. Uh, I did uh, uh, most of the sectional 
uh, topic wise test and sectional test. But like I said, because I do not have time enough time to to finish all the the con to yeah to practice all the content you provide. So I didn't you know uh, the full length test I didn't complete it. But I do all the um, topic wise test and sectional test, and I think they really helpful. So I practice intensively in the last month before the exam, and it's uh, you know. What I what I practice is the seven hundred to to uh, seven hundred to eight hundred uh, question in Quran and in uh, CR and else for RC is the LSAT content and you yeah. know the the rest is the the portal the topic wise in the sectional test. Okay. In the uh, was what was your exam experience like? Did you write it online or at the center? Number one, and was there anything difficult or unusual for you? Please tell me. Uh, for me, uh, at, uh, um, in the uh test center because there's one test center near my house um, right. and uh, I, I don't see any unusual uh, even the the you know the, the question type and you know everything is uh, there's nothing unusual just uh, like I said more practice uh, could uh, even give me a higher score I believe so um, all right so, so that take care of the could... reading and yes so what she's saying more practice could have given her a higher score and take care of the reading aspect like you yes. really have to take care of the reading aspect. And uh, would you have any advice for the future generation of test takers? Like anything that you observed, anything that you'd like to say, if they want to score even higher than you, probably? Yes. Yeah, I just think uh, really get used to uh, the reading, the, the long content and observe the information. And, you know, that is the most important thing that the most important takeaway from my, my exam experience. And other than that, for the reasoning part or even quant, I don't see any unusual in the exam. Right. So thank you, Vin, and I hope you'll be applying this year for business schools. And uh, thank you for your time. And uh, please do keep in touch. It was a very insightful discussion. Three more, three takeaways that I had was you get used to reading long stuff, uh, practice a lot of data insights. And in the multi-source reasoning, you can actually review, edit, thing that thing. And uh, quant for her was easy, but uh, data sufficiency on an exam was pretty long. You also talked yes. about algebra and long calculations. Can you talk about that last thing? Algebra, difficult algebra questions came and long calculations came for you in quant. Can you just tell me about that? Yeah, uh, algebra first. I, I thought it, it would be an easy topic, but uh, I think in the exam, it's, it's not quite straightforward. So like I said, don't neglect any topic in quant. Uh, all of them need practice. Right, right. So, All right, yes. Wynn, thank you for your time and thanks for joining us. It was really wonderful interacting with you. Do keep in touch. It's my pleasure, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.